Here's what I think is a wonderfully well-designed, aesthetically anyway, cassette recorder from RCA in 1972. It's got a kind of a long designation. We'll see it inside when we look at things. This was uh, designed by a man named John Vasos or Vasos. He was a well-known industrial designer. Uh, he started working at RCA in 1933, I think. He designed many things in his life. Um, this happened to be one of his later efforts. And as far as I know, it was his only cassette recorder. He developed television cabinets and radio cabinets for RCA back in the day. Well known for his aesthetics. This one's all plastic, sort of a teak top. Um, nice curves. We have our volume, tone, level control for recording, ALC, auto start, level meter, counter, counter reset, our sort of piano key push button controls. These are kind of interesting because I would normally expect red to be on the record side, but that's green. So I, that's a little different to me. You have your cassette up button, the cassette well, a little spot there to align things, I would suppose. A lot of your important works are behind this door here. You have a spot for are you running on AC or DC, auxiliary, mic and remote, and earphone. So those are hidden normally, but there's a lot of attention paid to detail here. You have a carrying strap on the top. Underneath you have your various specifics, UL, a series of screws to get inside. We'll see in there when I show you the maintenance I had to do to try and get this running. You'll see this says uh, 705 Japan. That would be the manufacturer, whoever that is. Removing the battery compartment lid. You come out with a series of things. Inside you have your microphone. And your power cord. There's a spot here to uh, keep your power cord controlled. You have the little mandatory earphone jack and your microphone stand there. Inside you see the specifics. Model YZB532Y Snow slash forest, teak grained, and a spot for batteries. Let's put this back on here for a minute. Now, looking in the cassette well. You might be able to see in there that there's some parts missing off that take-up spool. And when I got this from Goodwill, there was a lot of rattling around both in here and in the chassis in the cabinet. And I found a series of things in both of those places. I'm not sure what they all are. Um, but it obviously prevented a lot of proper operations of this. Although I did get it working a little bit, and we can even hear a little bit of uh, music playback later on here in the video. But even now as I sit here, it doesn't want to play necessarily. Rewinds, fast forwards fine. But I did get it to play down on the workbench. We'll take a look at that. As I was trying to get it to work, I purchased the uh, 
Sam's photo fact for it. Tape recorder series 107 from September 1972. And let me tell you, it's a uh, very thorough. It's a little hard for me to understand sometimes. There's page after page of minutia, diagrams, schematics. I think a good repairman could probably make excellent use of this. Unfortunately, that's not where my skill set is. But if you knew what you were doing, or if you were back in the day, this would certainly have been a big help. I think it turns the only accessories listed is an earphone. Well, let's stop for a minute and show the video I took on the maintenance bench where I attempted to, and somewhat minorly successfully, got it to uh, play a little bit. Not record, because it's a tape eater, but I did get it to play a little bit anyway. Well, here's the inside of the mechanism. Right now it's in play, but there's no tape in it. This one I'm pressing on the fast forward. This is not a permanent fast forward. I have to keep holding it in. But that works. Rewind is also requires me to keep my finger on it. It works. Somewhere in there is a tape eating gear or pulley or belt. It's eating the tape. I don't know. We'll try it again. A little adjustment there. same problem aren't we I'd try a different tape here maybe I'll have better luck with a different tape that happens sometimes some recorders like other more some tapes better than others I'm all on the go a little bit of the insides and some maintenance and just a little bit of uh, music playback you notice the volume is very strong well that's the John Vosos Vesos designed cassette recorder from RCA in 1972 just a sheer beauty maybe someday I'll find one in better condition and be able to uh, get it to work. Simple belt changes I can do, but you get involved in a lot of capacitors and resistors and other things, various pulleys, and that's a very weak spot for me. But I do like this. I like the design. I'll keep it displayed prominently, whether it works or not. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Bye.